Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and your fun Stampers Journey coach. Okay you guys, I know it's still winter, but it's been spring in my neck of the woods for the last several weeks. And guess what has been growing in fields and in yards? Something that we grew up with, dandelions. So I had to bring in a little pail of dandelions because they bring back so many wonderful childhood memories. Remember picking these and blowing them to make a wish? Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> Love it! So I thought to commemorate this beautiful memory by using our dandelion wishes stamps from fun stampers journey to create this very simple but cute card uh-huh and in this video i'm going to show you how you can make your own to get started i'm using our sour lemon cardstock and you take a eight and a half and eleven inch sheet of cardstock and you want to cut it down the middle on the long side and once you do that you end up with an A2 size card and then you take the A2 size card and fold it down the middle you could also use a crease tool to get a nice crisp edge or use a scoring tool the next step is to add embossing to the front of your board the way you do that take your A2 size card, determine the side that you want to be the front of your card. So this is the front of my card. Take your embossing folder and you need for your embossing folder to be facing upright. I know this is the correct side for my folder because the name is right there. Now I picked up this super sweet folder at Tuesday morning. It's of dandelions and what you do is take your folder and turn it like so open it up place the front of your card inside the folder and close it like that now i will use the cuddle bug to emboss my folder i'm using an a platform and two B plates. I'm going to sandwich my embossing folder between my plates, put that on top of the platform, and roll it through one time. And then take a look at that beautiful embossing. Look at those beautiful dandelions. Now we're going to add stamping. It's always good to stamp on a mat. I am using thick foam as my stamping mat and you see here we have the embossing on the front of the card and debossing on the top and side both sides are gorgeous down here I'm going to add some random stamping I'm going to take the top of the dandelion flower and I'm using buttercream pigment ink. I love this color. I like it better than the whiplash which is white. To me it's brighter and it does stamp white to me. Well or off white. You want to add enough ink and gently press down. Might be hard to see that because it is white but it's definitely a bold stamp. Now this is pigment ink. It will take about 10 minutes to dry, so you do not want to touch it. And I'll add another one, a little lower than this one. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but you can see the wet ink there. Now I can take a heat gun to speed up the drying process, but I didn't for this card. It really, it do dry fairly quick. I've added my stem to a block. This is block K. And I'm gonna use oatmeal cookie for the stem. And try to place the top of the stem right in the center of the flower. And the flower is still wet, 
but I'm going to stamp right on top, just like so. And do the other, just like so. Now you see down here it's smeared. You don't want to press too hard because this is a thin, fine stem. And if you press too hard, you risk your stem wavering. Now I'm going to do random stamping. I'm going to place a sheet of paper underneath my card because I'm going to do some off-page stamping. I'm using Block B with this size stamp. I'm going to use oatmeal cookie starting off and gently press it in and just just stamp oh I did forget too I'm going to do second generation stamping I'm going to stamp off the page and then stamp on my card because I want different shades of the stamps I'm not going to second generation stamp that one. So with one ink pad, you can achieve various shades of that color. And once again, you don't want to stamp too hard because you'll get these extra lines. Okay, let's do one more. And let's stamp off and stamp like so. Okay, now I'm going to take another stamp and I'm going to use hazelnut. Stamp off and stamp on. Stamp off and stamp on. So basically, I'm stamping at random. I'm filling the open space. And you do want to turn your stamp so you'll get different orientations of your design. Okay, there's one more stamp, the smaller flower. And I think I want to go back to oatmeal cookie. Now, any color scheme you like, of course, you know that you can use. And I don't want it to be too cluttered. Hmm, let's just do it this way. The next thing we're going to do, because we're almost done with this card, the last thing we'll do is add faith, and we'll use texture paint for that. Now, let's see if the white dandelion is dry. I'll give that a couple more minutes. The inside is dry. Now it's time to use one of my three Ps, personal product picks. It's our silk, and this is the sparkle color. I did a video, a review on it, and I love this stuff. It has a fingernail type tip, and just take it, and I'm adding it to my flower. Just the top part. Because it looks dark right now, but when it dries, it will soften up, and I'm not sure how much the camera picks up that glimmer but there's a nice shine a nice sheen when you use our silks and I think the sparkle is the most popular color now it's time to use stencil and texture paste okay so I'm using this stencil is called word by word and it comes with four nice size words I want to use the word faith because when you make a wish, you got to have faith that your wish happens, right? Okay, so I'm going to align my faith exactly where I want it. And because I can see through this, I'm able to position the faith so it don't cover up certain flowers and certain parts of my Flower. You ordinarily could put down washi tape to hold your stencil down, but I have noticed with this particular color, the washi tape tends to pull 
the color up. And this is the texture paste I'm using by Heidi Swap. It's a metallic color, it's gold, though it looks brown to me when it dries. This shifted a bit and a little squeegee type tool. And I'm gonna place a little bit of paste on my squeegee and that might be too much. Make sure your word covers your card. I had part of my F covering the blue paper. So you wanna be careful of that. You are going to lay down your paste. Now I will resort to using my hands. I probably should have used a different tool So what I'm gonna do is use my hands and, you know, let's just do it. Let's just get down and dirty. How about this? How about I use my fingers, right? See if that works. Okay, so lift it up. Ta-da! Okay, some boo-boo right there, but that's okay. You see that? Love it! While that's drying, let's make our sentiment. Now. I'm gonna walk you through these steps because it's really easy. You want to use your punches or your dies to create two circles, different sizes, so you can layer one upon the other. I'm using our corrugated cardstock. I'll have this link below. Also, oatmeal cookie cardstock. And you wanna stamp the phrase image on your oatmeal cookie cardstock, and then add double stick tape because you want, you want some dimension here, like so, and put your top layer on top. Now, one thing I did forget to do is I did ink up the edge. And I don't mind it being a little messy, that's okay messiness is in right but you do want to layer your top part as a matter of fact you guys <laughs> i actually edge this one as well in the darker brown not going to do that here you do want to layer the two as neat as you can and then i've taken our satin ribbon 20 yards of this beautiful oatmeal cookie ribbon. We have ribbon in different colors. I've added pop dots on both ends. And what I'm gonna do is position my ribbon. I want mine in the middle of the card and simply lay it down. Oh. Okay, lay it down like so. Try to make it as even as you can. I wanted the pop dots to end up in the center because right in the middle like that. Now, isn't that pretty? And we're gonna finish off the card with a matching envelope using my favorite die of all time. Okay, so let's take a final look at the card. Look at that beautiful embossing. And I love what this reads. When you look at a field of dandelions, you can either see a hundred weeds or a thousand wishes. And this is how the inside looks. This is the one we made in the video. Isn't that lovely? I love the texture pace and how Faith just pops out. And this is how the back looks. Okay, do you guys wanna do this? You guys wanna make a wish? Go ahead and make a wish while I blow these out. And I pray all your wishes come to pass. Well, if you have been inspired by my creativity, why not like this video? Give me a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of the products used, you can order it from my links below. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.